Welcome to part three of how to write MCQs. In this last section of how to write MCQs, we are going to learn how to target different levels of knowledge while you are writing the MCQs. If you are expert enough, you can write multiple choice items or multiple choice questions that, car that targets higher levels of knowledge, not only understanding, but application and analysis. If your learning outcomes is targeting simple recall, such as list the causes of common diseases, your question could be like this. Which of the following conditions can cause generalized edema? And the choices would be acute inflammation, right-sided heart failure, chronic lymphatic obstruction, local venous congestion. And of course, the correct answer is right-sided heart failure. But if you would like to target knowledge application, you can substitute pathological conditions with the disease causing this condition. So instead of right-sided heart failure, use cardiomyopathy and so on. Can you appreciate the difference? Now it can target a higher learning outcome, which is correlate the pathological feature of a disease with its clinical presentation. It's the same question, but it is written in a more refined form. Now, as an exercise, can you compare these two questions about rickets and judge which of them is better and why? Question number one is not good. Which of the following is not a characteristic finding in rickets? Delayed closure of fontanelles, rickety rosary, delayed sitting, craniostenosis. Why is it not good? While listing three characteristic clinical findings of rickets, the students needs only to recall them. This is followed by the correct answer, which is craniostenosis, obviously not related to rickets. Now let us see question number two. Which of the following is a characteristic finding in rickets? Please note at the start that it is not asking about a negative thing. I'm not using not or except. Let's read the alternative. Anterior fontanelle is still opened at three months of age. Beading of the costochondral junctions. The child starts to sit at the age of four months. The skull looks abnormal due to premature closure of sutures. Question number two is much better. All alternatives are testing, understanding, or even application. As it mentions the meaning of each word rather than the word itself. For example, it is not enough to know that patients with rickets have delayed closure of fontanelles. The student should know as well that it is normal to find the anterior fontanelle still opened at the age of three months. Please compare the rest of the alternatives and appreciate the difference. This is another question, another example uh, of a knowledge application question. If your learning outcome is to explain the clinical picture of a disease based on its pathogenesis, and knowing that the degree of edema pitting depends on the protein content of the interstitial fluid, the students can apply 
this knowledge to predict which of the following can cause very soft pitting edema. The question states which of the following can cause very soft pitting edema, nephrotic edema, acute inflammatory edema, allergic edema, cardiac edema, and of course it's the nephrotic edema. So you can see now that this question targets application of knowledge, a higher order of knowledge. Finally, if the learning outcome is targeting analysis, such, uh, such as analyze the basic clinical, pathological, and lab data to diagnose a human disease, the multiple choice item can be constructed using a case vignette. You can see from a glance that the stem is remarkably longer. It is longer because it allows to include data for analysis. So let's read the stem. A previously healthy 60-year-old patient underwent urgent operation under general anesthesia. Three days later, he developed progressive fever and signs of chest infection. The fever was not responding to parenteral broad-spectrum antibiotics for one week. Lab investigations showed total white cell count 20,000, which is markedly elevated. Follow-up chest x-ray showed an opaque shadow of the right lung with air fluid level. The most possible explanation for this clinical picture is aspiration pneumonia complicated by lung abscess, bronchogenic carcinoma complicated by chest infection, bronchiectasis complicated by edema, massive postoperative lung collapse. All of the options are plausible, and the correct answer is A. The student can only reach the correct answer or the key response if he can analyze all the data, relate them, connect them together, and see which one of the following diagnoses matches all the criteria or the clinical findings provided. This is a classical example of a multiple choice item targeting the level of analysis. At the end, I hope that this presentation can help you to construct better multiple choice questions and criticize other questions that you may encounter. Writing MCQs is a skill, a skill that builds up with practice. You can revise questions you already made and improve them. Please share the experience with subject expert colleagues revising each other's work. It is an essential next step to reach an agreed upon consensus about how clear and how accurate are your questions. Please find attached a one sheet document summarizing the basic concepts in constructing a multiple choice question. Thank you.